So today, I want to make my gaming PC slash Mac Hackintosh into an actual Mac tower. Essentially what I have is an i7 eight core, I believe a 9700K processor, Intel, on uh, some kind of Asus motherboard. Uh, I believe it's a Radeon RX 5700 video card that I flashed the BIOS to a 5700 XT. So pretty decent in game mode and uh, all pretty awesome for video editing in Mac mode. But it's in a black case with the blue fans and I want it to look like a Mac Pro like this. So I picked this guy up for 50 bucks. I think I paid 40 bucks for the original case. You'll see later. Paid 50 bucks for this. The guy brought it to me on Marketplace. Pretty cool. Dropped it off. He says it powers up, but he doesn't have a monitor to test it. I don't really care. It's an older type system. I think quad core Xeon. It's got a video card. It's got hot swappable RAM. It's pretty neat. But point is, is I want the shell. So I'm gonna retrofit it to work with my new PC gaming system, Hackintosh. So here we go. As you can see, it's got the lever. Instead of the screws like on normal PCs, it's just got this lever. And you just pop it up and then the whole side comes out and it's got instructions. It's it's pretty neat. And it's, it's heavy. This is some solid aluminum, but it shows you how to plug in the RAM and uh, how to then plug the RAM into the, the board itself. This is the RAM here. That's pretty cool, I think. Each RAM slot is, oh fuck, removable. And it's got a little cooler built in on it and then you pop four RAM slots on there. And then you have a whole nother RAM. Same thing, just these hot swappable RAM modules. Pretty neat, these will be on eBay if anybody wants them. I'll have a link in the description or something later. So we got a video card in here. Looks like I can just unscrew it. Oh, spring-loaded screws. Fancy. And then that whole bar comes out that holds the video card in. I'm gonna disconnect the power from it. And then I'm going to slide the video card itself off of the motherboard. Oh, look at that. Is that... I think that's Laura Croft, maybe. Somebody like that. But ATI Radeon. It's got this cool little add-on bridge so that it slots into the, the Mac specifically. <sighs> Decent little fan on it. I'll have to look this up, see what this is, if it's any, if it's worth anything at all. But sometimes these old school Mac guys, they like to have the old Mac stuff. So again, link in the description for the eBay post. Oh, wow, it's got like heat cooling pads everywhere. <clears throat> I didn't show you, cause I'd already pulled these out, but each one of these bays snap in like this all the way across. And these are SATA disk drives, 500 gigs each. So that'd be one, two terabytes of storage. And then they just lock in. So once you uh, close the door, it locks these in, this slides right over and locks in. And when you unlock the door, it unlocks all these drives with this lock mechanism back here, pretty neat. Once that's unlocked, you can easily pull each drive out, hot swap them. I keep saying hot swap, I don't know if they are hot swappable, which is a pretty defined term, meaning that hot swappable um, computer can be up and running and you can yank one of these out and plug one in and it, it'll just work. You don't have to reboot the computer or nothing. That is hot swappable, I do not know for sure, and I doubt that these are hot swappable, but they're just, um, I forget what the word for it is, where they're diskettes or cassettes or cartridges like that. The power cable. <clears throat> One, two, Apple 
power supply. Now we gotta figure out how to get all of this shit out of here so that we can get to that. And, ooh, looks like there's a ton of fans built into the side. But the plan would be to replace the power supply with my power supply, get rid of this cage, and maybe reuse it because it looks like it's directing air across the processor and then put my blue fans in here, blue fan in here, maybe a blue fan up here instead of the optical drives. Oh, looks like that's hot swappable as well. Pretty neat. Uh, again, not hot swappable, cassette style. But you can unplug all of this junk. It's pretty dusty, I'd say. And then, uh, that on eBay for somebody that wants to restore one of these guys. Oh, they even glued the serial cable so it stays a certain way. Now I wonder if this guy is gonna be easily removable like the rest of it. It doesn't look like it is. I got a couple screws over here. I'm gonna grab a screwdriver and a headlamp. Now I'm sure there's a YouTube tutorial or maybe even a um, ifixit.com that shows how to break this guy down, but I'm sure I can figure it out. So let's see what we got here. look like. It says here, Intel Xeon 5160 3.08 gigahertz. So there'll be two of those. Under this label here, like
weird. And then, huh? The fuck? Yeah, I don't know how to get. If that doesn't let this out, then I don't know. Two thousand eight to two thousand twelve. This was top of the line, like five to twenty thousand dollars, depending on the options. It's crazy. Now it's fifty bucks delivered right to my door. I'm gonna get the rest of these fuzz bunnies out. Get all the rest of these parts out of here. Looks like a Wi Fi antenna, and it is. Get that out of here. Now hopefully, I can reuse these standoffs for my ATX MOBO. Obviously, I'll make it work if I can't. those anymore either. Input board. I'm really intrigued about what this is on the bottom. Looks like it's gonna be 
Wi-Fi antenna. Huh. And sure enough it is. So the whole bottom of the, uh, the thing under the label, so that way I get it. So that way the Wi-Fi antenna is not inside this, this aluminum cage and therefore it can pick up Wi-Fi because this is literally just an antenna on the bottom. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Oh yeah. There's the magnet that goes around the antenna wires for the Wi-Fi. That's pretty neat. So I'm gonna get this in here. So we can get rid of it. We don't need it. I don't run Wi-Fi. Hard wire. So let's get it. Wi-Fi antenna so it can receive from outside the aluminum cage which would obviously which would obviously mess with your signal I've had a PC back in the day with a serial cable and you can see where they like glued it right there to keep it bent and then there's also a huge stick of glue here and then they folded it multiple times taped it there's your Foxconn same place that makes iPhones now and then they have it split so it can like come unfurled and go through and then you got this neat pull tab where you can literally just that's crazy that's what you were paying for back in the day twisted serial <laughs> parallel is it a parallel temperature sensor of some kind right Foxconn again pretty neat 
got this whole rail of hot swap Santas. Holy crap, that was tough, but there's the power supply. So it can easily slide out. Ugh. Pretty crazy. Holy crap. That was a lot of work. And I'm still probably gonna have to get this guy out of here if it interferes with my power supply outputs. Um, and I don't know if this is gonna be big enough for my ATX full-size board, but I can measure it. So I'm gonna get it cleaned up, get all these plastic blocks. There was a lot of these just plastic, solid, not even rubber, like plastic blocks, and they're heavy. I don't know if that was to add to the, it feels heavy to make it feel expensive. Or, I don't know, but there's another three right there. There was one there, one there, one there. Weird. So we learned something. The Wi-Fi is in the bottom. This is a Bluetooth antenna, all kinds of neat stuff. Stay tuned for the next episode where I put the PC in this thing, maybe Rusty's PC. We haven't decided yet. We gotta find out which board will fit, but I'm gonna convert this to a Hackintosh gaming rig. Eh? Like, feel like, subscribe if you want to see more. And as always, keep on modding.